What's poppin' kiddos and squiddos, it's your boy, Canadian Wi-Fi here. That was the lamest intro I think I've done on this channel. Now there's probably there's probably something back in like 2012 this sort of but What's up? Uh we got some Splatoon for you coming today on Saturday. Actually being recorded on Saturday as well. This is such a throwaway game. This is uh B plus Clamplet, so really just something to look at in the background while I talk. Uh I've been playing a decent amount of brush recently and I'm really starting to like it. And uh, this is a game on Prana Pit, which I think is taking the taking the cake for my favorite map in the game. Um, Walleye Warehouse is pretty swell, but like, I don't know, something about this map, pretty much every mode is fantastic on it, and I really like it. Even the dreaded Clam Blitz is somehow tolerable. Uh, maybe it's because of how open it is. Anyway, uh, that's not what we're here to talk about today. What are we here to talk about today? So, um... I've been kind of busy, playoffs are on right now in hockey, and uh, I don't know, it's just like every night I feel like I have an obligation to watch, so I'm pretty much, I'm, I'm IRL'd between like, uh, watch me watch me shred this baller right now with Object Shredder, he was on autopilot, he, he was just climbing up that thing like, man, I'm in a baller, I don't have to think, I can just, I can just roll, nope, sorry kiddo, um, and then of course I save the clip to share with friends. Even though I'm recording, it's just so convenient to save with the uh, the Switch feature. Anyway, um, I feel like I'm obligated every night to, I mean, like, obviously I'm gonna watch my team, there's no reason not to, and, and that's a three hour chunk, but it's like, the way the playoffs work in hockey too, there's always some series on that's really good to watch, so I'm pretty much nightly just watching hockey now from like 6 p.m. until well past midnight, and uh, Come starting next week, I'm going to be working uh, at a golf course in the mornings from about 6 in the morning until afternoon. So I'm going to have like 3 hours a day to myself, which probably won't be video related. So, <laughs> Just when you thought I was back. No, the playoffs will be over in about a month, and uh, obviously it's not a huge obligation working at a golf course. It's like, yeah, I have to get up early, but I'm home early and I pretty much have the whole day to myself. So. I don't know, um, just in general, uh, I've been gaming less in the last week, uh, whether that be due to hockey or what, but I've been watching a lot of Splatoon 1, and like, every time I watch a series, I want to bring it <laughs> to you guys, so like, I don't know, maybe I'll start bringing Splatoon 1, because I have my Wii U hooked up, I have to have it hooked up for Mario Kart 8 stuff, so like, it would be pretty easy, the problem is, is I was so bad at that game, like, looking back, it's just like, I don't know, I was, I was, I was an embarrassment. Uh, and I still am, like I'm still shit, but I, arguably it's more fun because the specials are more whack. <clears throat> but there's a lot of games, like man, if I if I had a, a gaming channel where I could make a career out of it, you would you would never you would never see a day go by without an upload. I have a couple games right now on Steam that I've been wanting to play for like almost an entire year. I have uh, um, the remains of Edith Finch, which I bought. Apparently, it's only like a two-hour game too. I just haven't gotten the chance to play it yet, and I've been really looking forward to it. And then there's uh, obviously Fallout 4. I wanted to dabble with a little bit. I mean, I was tempted to buy the new Donkey Kong game or like the Tropical Freeze that's re-coming back out for Switch. It was released on Wii U, but I never got it. I heard nothing but praise about that game and how good it is. It's like, yeah, I'd love to buy that, but. It's like, I could trade in stuff for it, but would I ever play it? Like, it just added to my backlog of games. And, like, there are professional, quote-unquote, gamers that have, like, a backlog of games. But for someone going into university in the fall, like, or, go, sorry, going back to school, so college, but, like, is, is, is that, like, a, <laughs> is that a responsible thing to have? Is it a long list of games that you've been wanting to play? I don't know. I think the point of games is to just have fun, right? And as soon as you start overthinking it, it's like, do I have time to play this game? Or am I playing too much game? Uh, it starts to... It starts to become unfun, because you're second-guessing. And that was my problem for a while there. It's like... It's like, if you're thinking about how much you shouldn't be playing a game, it probably isn't too fun to play. <laughs> like... Oh man, I should really be doing something else right now. But... I think this got a little too existential. I have a couple of good stories um, from the last few days, but I guess uh, I guess I'll save those for the Plants vs Zombies video. That's like I guess I could give you like a quick itinerary too. It's like Plants vs Zombies one has one maybe two videos left, which I haven't recorded yet. But I was gonna record yesterday, but I ran out of time because I think the video is gonna be like two hours long. But um, uh, 
I only had like an hour until hockey started, so I wasn't I sh I wasn't gonna look at this defense here at the end. If they got one clam and they would have won by one, but oh, some hot defense. One more kill and I believe I killed the jump and then that's the game. Ah, oh, yum. But yeah, so it's like it's kind of difficult to fit in that one video, and then I've been I've been dabbling away at Plants vs Zombies 2 on a on an alt account on my phone. I actually have a program that allows me to play it on a computer, and let me tell you, it's very fun to play on the computer. So probably going to be playing that after, and then I don't know. There, there's a bunch of things that I might upload on whatever Wednesday, but that's uh, quite whatever. I actually got to rank A on Clamblitz, solo Clamblitz, which is kind of insane. Oh, I totally forgot I attacked this on at the end. Uh, during the Splatfest, Gumi, Chum Chow, Tennis, and I finally got together and did the quad thing where we uh, picked the weapon and everyone had to use it. Whoever got the most kills gets to pick the next weapon we all had to use, and that went on for pretty much like, 20 or 30 battles. I ended up recording it all with Call, so it's going to take a while to edit, but it is coming maybe next weekend for the Splatoon video. Uh, you guys will see like a couple, a couple of Splatfest videos because it was actually really fun. There were a couple funny moments, so look out for that, and uh, yeah, that's all.